What's up guys, how's it going? It's TomLF7 and welcome to a brand new Liverpool career mode episode, it's Arsenal at the Emirates. This is the Emirates Stadium and after we went 4 games without a win in the league, we managed to beat the league leaders Man City in the previous game in an absolutely brilliant 3-1 victory. And we are second, two points behind Man United, but Arsenal are only four points behind us. So we we must win this and they have one hell of a uh, strike force with Podolski, Kazorla, Walcott and uh, Benzema uh, on the bench, Jacko up front. And they have, uh, I think they have Ozil as well on the bench, I'm not too sure, I didn't look. But usually they, they have Ozil on the bench, which really puzzles me. And we feel our strongest possible lineup. Let's beat Arsenal. Oh, what a shot! Great save, Mignolet. Coutinho. Oh, damn it! Storage! No! It was on his left foot. That's his favorite foot. How did you not finish Storage? El Shravi! Oh no! Chesney with another save. Go oh, on, Storage! Must finish this! Yes! Daniel Storage! Got in there! Let's do a chicken dance to annoy the Arsenal fans even more. 1-0 to Liverpool at the Emirates. This is such a vital game. We have only collected 6 points from the last uh, 5 games. So it's Oh, what a miss! He could have taken a touch, he was clean through. Ooh, such a relief. Gerard! Come on, ref! How is that not a foul? Sit down! Sit down! Let's make three substitutions to see how the game Borini, Bakali and Marquinhos coming on. Yes! We have won it! We have beaten Arsenal at the Emirates! And what a vital victory this could be in the title race. This keeps us in the hunt. And to be honest, it wasn't a game of many chances. But uh, in the end, the most important thing is the three points. See you later, Arsenal! So it's time to look at the latest Premier League results and uh, after we couldn't win in four games where we collected only three points and lost to Southampton, we managed to beat Man City 3-1 at home and then in a crucial, crucial game, we managed to win away at Arsenal and this could be huge, absolutely huge in the title race because if we lost these two games against Man City and Arsenal, then basically we, we would be absolutely doomed, we would be out of the title race and uh, in the next episode I will show you the, the Champions League game, um, the upcoming Champions League game, but I want to dedicate the second part of this video uh, focusing on the January transfer window because it's coming very very soon, so I want you guys to watch the games uh, thinking about who I should replace, who, who I should sell, who is not performing and maybe which position needs strengthening but first let's look at the league table so here it is we are second at the moment two points behind Man United they have an absolutely whopping 20 plus 20 goal difference as well so they are looking as strong as last season and it was it's so vital that uh, we keep on winning and I'm absolutely gutted that we couldn't win in four games three draws and one loss because uh, if uh, if we could have won maybe uh, two games, you know, but ifs, buts and maybes don't exist, don't exist in football. Watford and Reading uh, have a really tough season. They are bottom of the league and this is why it was so vital to win against Arsenal because now we extended our lead uh, above them to seven points. 
So it looks like it will be Everton, Tottenham, Man City, Liverpool and Man United in the title race. Five really, really strong teams in the title race. And now let's look at the top scorers as well. So here is the top scorers chart. Eriksen and Ashley Young are leading the top scorers chart. Sturridge and Ashravi both have six goals. And now I want, you sh want to show you the squad report because you guys requested that a lot. And I, I want to... Uh, show you the squad report and uh, while you are looking at the, this uh, I, I recommend uh, you to recommend me some new summer sorry some January transfer signing so so uh, look at all the players uh, and think about which players uh, maybe needs to be sold which players uh, need to be replaced which position needs to be uh, strengthened uh, uh, Steven Gerrard uh, will retire at the end of the season so the biggest question in the January transfer though is uh, who I should sign to replace this absolute legend Steven Gerrard but also uh, you can suggest me transfers in other positions uh, should I sign a new striker and maybe sell Ashravi or Sturridge I'm pretty happy with both of them so I, I'm looking at maybe strengthening the the defensive midfield position to get a backup for Paul Pogba but but maybe I will just spend uh, all my money on a replacement for uh, Steven Gerrard a young promising talent uh, lots of you guys uh, suggested me many many different players in Gerrard's position so keep doing that but also let me know uh, what do you think um, because I read every comment that you post guys so uh, which players uh, are not improving uh, at the rate that we we want them to be improving uh, just bear in mind that uh, this is a very very difficult season so uh, I'm already two points behind uh, Man United even though we had an absolutely brilliant start in the league so I can't play a lot of young players you know I, I really like to focus on developing young players but but sometimes they uh, don't do the business and uh, I lost some of the games where I fielded uh, young players in defense so so I'm really torn between uh, rotating the team or just playing my strongest 11 all the time and trying to win the league in Gerrard's last season because th that is my main prior priority this season so let me know which players should I sign in the January transfer window and I really hope that you enjoyed another episode of the Liverpool career mode your support has been absolutely mind-blowingly fantastic so keep that up guys and if this video gets to 200 likes, you will see two episodes. Yes, two episodes tomorrow as well. Thanks for watching. Have a nice evening. Goodbye. Welcome to Norwich against Liverpool in the first round of the Cock Cup known as the Capital One Cup. And as you can see, I field a lot of very, very young, promising players because I want to try them out. I decided not to field the Youth Academy goalkeeper Jimenez because he's only a 61 rated player and I want to get to the final 